One of my most frequently asked questions while traveling is, how did you fit everything in just one backpack? The truth is, it's not magic, but it does require some tricks that I would gladly share them with you in this video. Whether you're going on a longer or a smaller trip, or even if you're planning on traveling the world with just one backpack, here is everything that I pack with me with just one backpack, plus gear, plus snacks. I will be heading to another solo backpack trip for exactly three weeks. If you've been following my videos, you know that one of the things that I truly appreciate in life is traveling and getting to know other cultures. I like to do it as often as my life allows it and as stress-free as possible. So one of the things that minimalism has taught me over the years, and it's also something that everyone has heard, is that less is more. By reducing the amount of baggage, you're also adding more of what is truly important. So while traveling, I like to prioritize these three things over actual material things. First of all, comfort. When turning on the adventure mode, I like to jump around from place to place, and most of the time it requires walking and moving a lot. I find that trolleys look more fashionable and sure are more practical on flat surfaces, but the truth is that most of the time this is not the case. It can also be a big pain while raining and walking down an uneven street or even when facing stairs. So I choose a backpack. And this literally means that everything that I decide to bring, it's literally weighing me down. So it is important to only carry the essentials. And by this I mean travel as light as possible. Being able to run around to catch some sort of transportation mode if necessary and to put my bag over the cabin or under the seat on my own without breaking my back. Time. If you only carry one backpack, you don't need to wait up for the extra bag at the airport or even stress if it's gonna show up or not. Also, the less you pack, the last time you spend packing and unpacking, and this is also true during the trip if you're moving around from place to place. Saving money. I really believe that if you focus on the right things, you don't need to spend a lot of money while traveling. I'm gonna be very honest. The main reason why I like traveling with just one backpack, it's because I'm always looking out for cheap flights that usually don't include the extra baggage, at least for free. And you can already save a lot of money if you cut out this extra expense. I like to be intentional about my spendings and the money that I don't use for the extra bag, I either save it or I spend it on an experience that will enrich my life. Or food, because food is life. I personally like to use Evernote to make sure I don't forget anything while packing. I have a pre-made travel list that I use every time. So whenever I'm packing a new bag, I just uncheck everything from the previous trip so I can have a clean start. When it comes to the actual list of things that I'm bringing, I divide it into six categories. Essentials, tech, comfort, hygiene and health, clothing, and in this case, beach. When it comes to my essentials, I am bringing my ID, my credit card, my wallet and actual money for emergencies, health insurance card, a locker for safety, my backpack, my water bottle. For years, I thought that water bottles were not allowed on airplanes and this is completely not true. The only thing that you're not allowed to bring are liquids with you before and during the security check. So what I usually do, I just bring an empty bottle and whenever I pass the security check, I go to the bathroom, fill it with water and I have water for my trip. This way I am saving money and also saving the environment because I don't need to buy extra black stick bottles everywhere I go. As the last item of the essential list, I am bringing a carabiner, which is what I use to hold my water bottle on my backpack. When it comes to tech, I am bringing my GoPro, an extra battery, a tripod. I am also bringing my camera, my 50mm lens and my charger, my phone, headphones. I also use them as earplugs at night if necessary. My digital watch and its charger, a power bank, a USB-C fast charger. And this is not a business trip, otherwise I will include my computer which is not coming with me this time. For comfort, I am bringing my eye blinder, a book, pen and paper to draw and to put down my thoughts while traveling, clothing soap for doing my laundry in between days, five clothes packs, two pieces of fruit, one sandwich, one boiled egg for the trip. 
When it comes to hygiene and health, I am bringing toothbrush, toothpaste, cotton swabs, floss, nail clipper, plucker, hairbrush. I'm bringing perfume in smaller containers. I figured out that one is usually good for one week and because I'm going three weeks, I'm just gonna fill up three small containers. I am also packing bar deodorant, solid shampoo, soap bar for the body, makeup remover. When it comes to makeup, I am bringing concealer, mascara, blush, eyebrow pencil, red lipstick, aloe vera, and a bag to bring with me every time that I need to use the bathroom essentials. As a bath towel, I will be bringing two tenugi, one for the hair and one for the body. And tenugi is basically a Japanese cloth that is very lightweight, very versatile. And I'm probably also going to use it as a beach towel. And because it's so lightweight, I can just wash it, let it dry and more or less 30 minutes after it's good to go. Besides that, I am bringing an EpiPen because I have some allergies and I need to bring that stuff with me wherever I go. And I'm also gonna bring some basic medicine. When it comes to clothing, it's gonna be a little bit tricky because I will be going over 750 kilometers from south to the north during the change of the season. So the weather is gonna be a little bit unpredictable, but what I'm gonna bring is one pair of sneakers, six panties, one bra, six socks, one pair of leggings and a big t-shirt, which I'm gonna use as a pajama, one pair of flip-flops, two trousers, six tops, two long sleeves, two sweaters, one jacket and two dresses, one long sleeve and one knot. When it comes to accessories, I am basically gonna bring everything that I'll be already wearing. So one ring, my usual earrings that I never take out, two hair ties, my digital watch that I already mentioned, one hat, one belt, one necklace, one pair of sunglasses and a smaller bag. And from all these clothing items, I'm gonna remove this because this is what I will be wearing during the trip. And last but not least, because I'm planning to go to the beach, I will be bringing my bikini and sunscreen. Okay, so now you have your list of things, but how do you actually fit everything in such a small space? I will give you nine lightning tips on how to pack your bag. First of all, roll up your clothing. This way it takes less space in your bag, plus you can see everything in one glance. Two, pack for six days, not six weeks. If your trip is more than six days, it doesn't matter how long it's actually gonna be. Just pack for six days and do laundry in between. If it's just a just-in-case item that costs under 20 euros, just leave it at home. You might think that this way you're actually gonna spend more money to actually buying these things, but chances are that you're not. I've been doing this for years and you know how many times I actually went out of my way to buy a just-in-case item? Zero. Check the weather report and the activities you want to do before going. For example, and also related to the previous tip, on this trip it might rain, but I won't be bringing any rain jacket or umbrella and knowing myself, I will probably just find a nice museum or indoor activity for that day. Otherwise, if it's like pouring rain and if I really need it, I'll just get a cheap, small umbrella. Number five, where are the items that take more space? During the trip, where are the items that take more space in your bag? On the way there, but also on the way back. If you're wearing bigger shoes or bigger sweaters, make sure to wear that during the trip. Plus, it can also get a bit chilly during your flight. Take multi-purpose items. For example, a USB charger can charge three different types of devices, so I'm only bringing one. Or a certain item of clothing with some imagination can be worn differently. Choose a versatile wardrobe. Minimalism doesn't have to look all black and white for everyone, but having a color palette that you can mix and match is a total game changer. Don't put your water bottle inside your bag, especially if it's full and you're traveling by plane. It usually takes a lot of space and you can get into trouble if the air company asks you to wait your bag. So use a carabiner instead or just take it in your hands. Extra points if you use a reusable water bottle. 
And last but not least, storing position matters. Of course, the most important part is what you will be bringing, but how you will bring it is also extremely important. One tip is to keep the heavier things at the bottom and at the center of the bag. This way, the weight is more evenly distributed and it's easy to carry. Okay, that's it. Simple. You are ready to go on an adventure with just your backpack and focus on what truly matters. Let me know if something that you always bring during your trips that I haven't mentioned. As always, looking forward to speaking with you in the comment section. Remember to stay kind to yourself and to others and I hope to see you on the next video.